Every year, India loses hundreds of kilometers of land to the sea. Cities flood, ports shut down, billions vanish in damage. And yet, few realize what's happening quietly along this 7,500 kilometer coastline. From Gujarat to Bengal, India has launched a $90 billion plan, not just to fight the sea, but to completely rebuild its entire coastline. Floodproof highways, smart ports, coastal cities, a transformation so massive it could rewrite the map of India itself. This is how India is turning its biggest vulnerability into its strongest shield. For decades, India's coasts have been quietly disappearing. Rising sea levels and unplanned development have already eaten away more than 30% of India's shoreline. Entire fishing villages in Tamil Nadu and Bengal are vanishing under the sea. For a country that depends on the sea for trade, tourism and energy, the coastline is both a lifeline and a ticking time bomb. In response, India has launched an unprecedented $90 billion mission, combining multiple mega-projects under one coastal vision. At the heart of India's coastal rebuild lies the Sagamala project, a vision to connect every major port with highways, railways and inland waterways. It's one of the world's largest port-led development programs, spanning over 500 projects worth more than $90 billion. From Kandla in Gujarat to Paradip in Odisha, new ports, container terminals and logistics parks are being built to reduce India's shipping cost and boost exports. Next, Mumbai, the city that battles the sea every monsoon. The Mumbai Coastal Road is one of India's most ambitious urban engineering projects, an eight-lane, 29-kilometer highway built partly on reclaimed land and under the sea. The project will reduce a two-hour commute to just 20 minutes, and more importantly, act as a seawall to protect the city's western coast from rising tides. It's not just a road, it's Mumbai's frontline defense against the ocean. In Chennai, where torrential rains once brought the city to a standstill, a massive underground defense system is taking shape. The Chennai Flood Control Mission includes giant stormwater tunnels, reservoirs and pumping stations, capable of draining millions of liters of water every hour. The system is designed to protect the city from once-in-a-century floods, which now arrive every few years. It's a rare example of Indian cities investing not just in growth, but in resilience. In Gujarat, India's Western Gateway, a new generation of smart ports is emerging. Ports like Mundra, one of the world's largest private ports, now handle more cargo than many entire countries. But beyond that, Gujarat is building renewable-powered port cities using solar and wind energy to run cranes, warehouses and cold chains. These are not just docks. They're digital trade ecosystems powered by data, AI and clean energy. And finally, protecting the coast itself through coastal protection missions. India is building seawalls, artificial reefs and restoring mangroves to act as natural barriers against storms and erosion. These green defences can cut wave impact by up to 60%, saving thousands of lives and livelihoods every monsoon. It's a reminder that sometimes, nature itself is the best engineer. Together, these projects form the spine of a $90 billion vision. One that's not only defending India's coasts, but redefining their future. The goal is to turn risk into resilience, to make India's coastline not a border, but an engine of growth. Coastal highways will connect ports to factories. Flood barriers will protect megacities like Mumbai and Chennai. And new renewable hubs, wind, tidal and solar, will power coastal states sustainably. From disaster zones to development corridors, this is how India's coast is being reborn. It's a race against time, against rising seas and stronger storms. But if India succeeds, this $90 billion transformation won't just rebuild its coast. It will redefine the relationship between the land and the ocean. Because sometimes the greatest battles aren't fought on land. They're fought against the sea. 
Subscribe for more stories reshaping our world.